As soon as Georgia was born, the nurse gave her to me and I looked into her eyes and I thought something wasn't quite right. Within half an hour, the doctors came round to see us and they told us that her initial tests weren't great. And within the first couple of months, they told us that Georgia's development wasn't normal and they suspected that something was wrong, but they couldn't find out what it was. Lovely. <laughs> you keep going. For the first few years of Georgia's life, she slowly showed us what wasn't right. We found out there were problems with her global development. So she was delayed walking and delayed talking. She had problems with her kidneys, problems with her eyes. But despite all the problems, she was really happy and she was developing and she was a joy. Um, it was hard because she wasn't the little girl that we were expecting, but um, we were doing okay and, and we celebrated even the little things. Georgia, Georgia, go Georgia! Georgia, 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 Georgia! She was always progressing. And that was until about the age of four, four and a half, when we started to notice that some things were becoming harder for her. We kept going back to the hospital and, and raising our concerns, but they reassured us that they thought it was just part of Georgia's underlying disability. And this went on for two and a half years of us going back and asking for scans and getting nowhere. In the October of 2017, Georgia started to have seizures. Finally, I convinced the hospital to give her a scan. They wouldn't do it urgently, but we waited six weeks and she had an MRI scan. And we were just about to leave the hospital um, when I was asked to come into a room and take a phone call. And the phone call was from Georgia's paediatrician. He started by just saying how sorry he was. He said that they'd found an enormous brain tumour filling half of her head, and he was very, very sorry. I remember holding George on my lap and hugging her tightly and just thinking, don't forget what this feels like, don't forget the smell of her, because I didn't know how long we'd have her. It was 45 hours of brain surgery in total, um, you know, a huge amount uh, for, a, for a child of her age, and uh, it was an extremely stressful time, as you can imagine it. Amazingly, she came out the other side and survived all four operations and the surgeon managed to remove 100% of the tumour. So we were over the moon, it was just, it was an absolute miracle. Look at this one. Oh, weren't you a cute baby? Oh! oh. <laughs> little face! That's huge! That's your little face! Unfortunately, the tumour they'd removed was highly aggressive, grade 4 cancer. When she had a scan within a month, the tumour had started to grow back in the margins and they told us that she needed to go immediately for proton beam therapy. It was hard, having a general anaesthetic every day was exhausting for George and the proton eventually burnt all her hair off the side of her head and that will never regrow. Unfortunately, we were told we needed to still have chemo. Each round would be about four weeks. She'd have a week prep, then two weeks of chemo, and that would destroy all the fast-growing cells in her body. She was like a little white ghost during this time. It was so hard to see her becoming so, so ill. So eventually we got to that final day after her months of chemo in Southampton when we rang the ring a bell, that's what they do, that's the tradition once a child has kind of gone through it all and it's been successful. I don't think Georgia knows she's different, but if she does know, she doesn't care. She's just full of joy and happiness and she lives every day to the full and I think we could all learn a lot from Georgia. We won't know ever really what the effect of uh, the brain tumour and the treatment has been on her really. 
how she might have been otherwise. But what is really definitely true, we still have George's character as it was at the start. You know, she uh, such an amusing, fun-loving character, and uh, that is retained throughout. We are just so appreciative that we we were able to to keep her and give her the the, the quality of life that she has now.